Hello guys, this is Amos Stole Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play the song called Redbone. It's super catchy, very awesome, okay? But anyway, let's go ahead and give you a quick preview of what you're gonna learn so you know exactly what to expect and just get a kind of preview on like how it looks like. But anyway, check it out. Here's the preview, it goes like this. Anyway, let's go ahead and learn how to play this awesome song. Okay, so let's break up how many sections should we break it up? Okay, let's break up this section into four main parts, okay? So first part goes like this for the right hand. All right, so start on the E flat here. So E flat is middle C, C, E flat up here, okay? So it goes E flat and up to the B flat, down to the A flat, then G flat, and then F, down to D flat, down to B flat, up to E flat, and then it goes D flat, E flat, up to G flat, up to the high D flat, just like that. And that's the first part, okay? So one more time for the first part for the right hand. So it goes like this, so it goes E flat, up B flat, A flat, G flat, F, down to D flat, down to B flat, up to E flat, and then D flat, E flat, G flat up to the high D flat, just like that, okay? Yeah, so that's the right hand, so make sure you get it smoothly, don't like this. Like that, okay, it's very awesome, okay? So that's the right hand. The left hand, we have four chords here, all right? So the four chords are, check it out, so the first chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp, and then the second chord is D flat major, which is D flat, F, and A flat, and then the third chord is E flat minor, which is E flat, G flat, B flat, and then the fourth chord is also E flat minor again, which you know, all right? So one more time, the four chords are, okay, so these four chords are actually very important before we go on. Remember these four chords, played a lot of times because the whole song actually revolves around these four chords in this specific order, okay? So one more time, so it's B major, D flat major, and two E flat minors. Okay, so play until you can kind of like play it without even looking. Like right now, for me, I'm talking to you and I'm actually not looking as well. So that's why it's kind of like on autopilot. So kind of play it until you can get to this kind of level as well. So you'll be able to actually focus mostly on the right hand because the right hand is doing all the jumping around, the left hand is just doing this easy chord progression over and over again, okay? So remember these four chords, very important. The whole song uh, has this repeating four chord pattern, okay? But anyway, yeah, with that in mind, the two hands together for this first part goes like this. So it goes E flat and B major together. So it goes together. F and D flat major together. E flat and E flat minor together. And the D flat and E flat minor together. Just like that, and that's the first part. One more time, so it goes like this. So it goes together. Together. So that's the first part out of the way. Let's go ahead and move on to the second part. So the second part goes like this. Right hand continues down to the B flat, and down to F, G flat, A flat, G flat. And then down to the B flat, E flat, F, G flat, and up to the high B flat, like that. Okay, the last five notes are pretty much like kind of like a passing decoration thing. But anyway, one more time for the right hand. So it goes like this. Uh, it goes high B flat, down to F, G flat, A flat, G flat, and then down to the B flat, up to E flat, F, G flat, up to the higher B flat, like that. That's the right hand. So once you get the right hand for this second part, the left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are, okay, so as I said before, you know already because that four chords is the same four chord pattern as what we taught in the first part. So B major, D flat major, and 
like two E flat minor chords, okay? So once you get that, the two hands together goes like this. So you go B flat and B major together, and F and D flat major together, G flat and E flat minor together, E flat and E flat minor together, just like that. Simple, okay, one more time, so it goes like this. So it goes together, two, three, four, together, together, together. Just like that, okay? Yeah, so that's the second part. So together, two, three, four, together, two, together. Like that, okay? So that's the two parts. Okay, so the two parts that I've won so far will be played back to back like this. Check it out, so it goes like this. Really awesome already, okay? Anyway, moving on, the third part, okay, the awesome thing about the third part is because this third part is actually exactly the same as the first part, so we just saved some time and we learned it already, okay? So, third part, same as the third, first part, just goes like this. Okay, so easy because the third part same as the first part if you remember it patterns are very important in music allows you to learn stuff super quickly if you can identify them okay but anyway i always say that okay but anyway let's go ahead and now show you how the three parts that we've learned so far would be sounding back to back like this okay so check it out so it goes like this let me see okay here we go it goes like this to the fourth and last part of this section okay so right hand this fourth part goes like this it goes B flat down to the F up to A flat G flat down to E flat like that for the right hand okay so that's the right hand for this fourth and last part so it goes like this one more time so it goes B flat down to F A flat G flat down to E flat and that's it really simple fourth part only five notes for this fourth part okay so once you get that one two three four F A flat G flat E flat da, da. Okay, so that's the right hand. Left hand, once again, we have the exact same four chords as that four chord pattern that we said in part one. Okay, so you know that already is B major, D flat major, and two E flat minor chords. Okay, so since you know these four chords, the two hands together, we'll just go like this. Okay, so check it out. It goes B flat and B major together. So it's together, two, three, and then F and D flat major together. E flat and E flat minor together. And then E flat minor by itself, just like that. Just like that, very simple. One more time, it goes. Like that. Okay, with an extra E flat minor, okay? Or you can actually hold the E flat minor as what I just did just then as well. Same thing, just hold it for the uh, equal amount of counts that it's supposed to be, okay? But anyway, that's pretty much it. So, recapping, the four parts that I've learned would be sounding back to back like this. Some tips, as I just stuffed up a tiny bit at the part where I go da 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 da, is because, yeah, this is a pretty big stretch, okay? I'm trying to stretch it, like, so it can actually hit all the notes, okay? If you can't do it, just do like da 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 and jump, like that, so jump. So you can actually play it, okay? Instead of me actually, like, actually, like, fully, like, kind of slipping off the notes, okay? But yeah, for people with bigger hands than me, go ahead, just stretch, like, the same thing I'm doing right here. Like that. So first finger on D flat, second finger on that, and G flat, third finger, and the fourth finger on B flat, and fifth finger on D flat. If you can reach that, go ahead and do that, what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, and another tip for you is uh, the uh, second part, the right hand, you should play it a bit softer, okay? You know the part goes, the last five notes, okay? It's kind of like in the background. So yeah, so it's like this. So for example, um, Because that 
other part is the melody and that other last five notes in the second part is just like decoration and like in the background okay but yeah that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed this go ahead and check out my full cover i kind of improvised uh, like a bit on the spot on like the song and i just made up my kind of only like i guess it's still like uh, the original like melodies and stuff it's just like I just played around with it a little bit. Go ahead and check that out if you enjoyed this song. And remember to subscribe for a lot more of these like piano covers and tutorials. I have so many of them. I have a lot of meme piano song and tutorials as well in the playlist. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of stuff. But as for now, I guess enjoy your time on my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel, subscribe and see you next time.